Hello guys, my name is Gabe from Freight on Hyundai. In this video, I am going to show you the 2024 Hyundai Ionic 5 lineup. I am going to describe uh, all the trims that we have available as a 2024 Ionic 5 and go more in deep. So let's start. I have here uh, three 2024 uh, Ionic 5. I have here the prefer long range rear wheel drive, prefer all wheel drive long range, and prefer uh, all wheel drive long range with ultimate package. I am going to describe uh, in detail each one and see the differences and the features that we have each one. Ionic 5 is our most desired car and many people love the Ionic 5. And the purpose of this video is to teach you about the differences of the trims of the 2024. So let's start with first with this one that is an amazing uh, shooting matte star color, shooting star matte color. And this one is the Ionic 5 uh, preferred long range rear wheel drive. So this is rear wheel drive car. Uh, this one uh, have only, uh, have a single rear engine that have uh, 168 uh, kilowatts so that, uh, that that is around 225 horsepower and because have a single rear motor or engine the autonomy is around 488 kilometers so this is in all the uh, lineup or trims of the ionic 5 this is the one that have more autonomy so let's start first uh, how you unlock this car is very easy uh, when you approach to the car automatically it opens or the other option is that you push like this and automatically the car and the handles open and the car unlock uh, this one have those uh, uh, 19 inch uh, rims with those Michelin tires that are 235.55 that are all season. Let's go to the back first, to the trunk. So the trunk, the the, the trunk is the opening of the trunk is manual, and uh, you have here this decent amount of space here, as you see here, and. You have more space here at the bottom with the tire mobility kit and that uh, level one charger and also this net too. I don't know if you notice it here, uh, the Ionic 5 in any of the trims that I am going to show you have this nice rear spoiler that is very aerodynamic and pushes down the rear, the rear uh, side of the Ionic 5 if you are driving fast. Let's go to the second row. <coughs> As you see, you have cloth seats. You can recline the seats. And also you can... You can uh, move forward or backward the seats, the seats as you notice it. As you notice it also the 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 floor is matte, is flat, sorry. You have a couple of uh, pockets here, two USB types A ports here, and the interior lights are LED. You have here the controls for the rear windows. Uh, 
and then let's continue here you have here the same uh, details around the car you have heated uh, sorry the cloth seats driver seat is electric and I am going to turn on the car you have here the uh, controls for the windows uh, for the exterior mirrors dimming the lights traction control off auto hold and parking brake you have here the digital gouges that show you the kilometers the autonomy in kilometers also how much the uh, the battery is, is charged and you have here the levels that you control here using the paddle shifts for the regeneration mode also uh, once you are driving in cruise control you will see how uh, the car will detect some uh, some obstacles or things around the driving the steering wheel is a very nice steering wheel with a flat design at the bottom here the controls for the cruise control for the radio phone here for the cruise control and this is if you want to change the drive modes echo normal and sport and if you notice it when you change the display change you have here a multimedia system with uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay by cable and also you have navigation and the navigation also have the feature that uh, when you are uh, when you are near to uh, near to uh, near to zero the car will let you know uh, when is the nearest uh, charging station so we have here uh, the climate system independent climate zone for driver and passenger controls for the shortcuts of the multimedia system and also volume and tuning this is in case you want to see the rear camera this is if you want to off the parking sensors you have here another USB type uh, a port 12 volt outlet here a cup holder cup holders another two uh, USB type a ports and more space here at the bottom and you have here this nice armrest you have here your glow box and as I mentioned it to you the interior lights are LED and you have here mirrors those lights are halo halogen and if you notice it uh, you have the gearbox here that is a, a very character, nice characteristic of the Ionic 5 that started with the Ionic 5 and then start and then continue with the other models no so when you want to drive just twist like this neutral like this reverse like this and parking like this and that's it so because the gearbox is here you have more space here at the middle Let's continue to the front because there is another trunk at the front. As you notice, you have here shocks and you have here a storage here in the center. And those are the details of the Ionic 5. Uh, uh, preferred rear wheel drive uh, preferred uh, long range rear wheel drive and then let's continue with this one this one is the 24 Ionic 5 uh, prefer long range all wheel drive and I am going to show you the features that this one have and the other one not have so the exterior basically is the same same rims, same tires and as you know uh, Hyundai have the have the uh, in the Ionic 5 
they started with the pixel design. That's why you notice many squares around the car, many uh, many rect angles that makes the Ionic 5 unique, you know? For example, I don't know if you see that line around the car that looks more 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 better here with this atlas white color that we have here the lines here also many lines here are around the arches here the front with the pixel design uh, front lights and many lines around the car as you notice it and also as you know the rear trunk, the rear part of the car that looks amazing and have those uh, those uh, pixel design uh, lights and many pixel design around the car okay so if you notice it here uh, in this Ionic 5 prefer uh, prefer a rear wheel prefer long range rear wheel drive looks like this and in case of the ionic 5 uh, long prefer long wheel range all wheel drive look like this but check this difference you have here the h track logo that is the Hyundai all wheel drive system so outside you will see that if you not see an Ionic 5 with this logo, it's an all-wheel drive. Let's open the trunk. The trunk is still manual, it still have the same size, and it still have the level one charger, the tire mobility kit, and the net. Let's continue here in the second row. You have here the uh, the cloth seats, right? And the same features like the other one. I forgot to show you in the other one that you have the rear vents here, and as you know, and, and and like the other model, like the other trim, the pockets and the USB type. Uh, a ports let's go to the front still the same features here driver seat electric only I am going to turn on the car and before continue let me tell you some features that this car, this Ionic 5, uh, prefer a uh, long range all wheel drive half than the other, that the rear wheel drive version not have. No? For example, uh, in case of the prefer long range all wheel drive that I am right now, this one has 410 kilometers of autonomy. Why? Because uh, this car uh, have the dual engine, have uh, a front, uh, have uh, two engines, one at the front that is 74 kilowatts and one at the back 165 kilowatts. And both engines make 320 horsepower. So it's around almost 100 horsepower more than the rear wheel drive version. And because you have 320 horsepower, the car drives from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.2 seconds, 5 seconds. That is amazing. And if we, if we go more specific, we have a torque of 605 newton meters or 446 uh, pounds per feet. With that power allows you to tow the, allow to, to tow things with the uh, Ionic 5 uh, all uh, prefer 
uh, long range all wheel drive up to 2000 pounds. Let's continue with the features. Uh, we have the same features here, like dimming the lights, traction control off, auto hold, parking brake, controls for the windows, for the mirrors. Here the steering wheel with the same design, controls for the radio, for drive modes, uh, cruise control, here the signals, power shifts to control the regeneration mode. As I explained to you, you have many features here in the, in the gauges like the other car. Same features here for the multimedia system with Android Auto Apple CarPlay by cable. Same features here for the climate for the climate zone, independent climate zone for driver and passenger. Uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention that you have heated seats, front heated front seats at heated steering wheel. The USB Type A port, 12 volt outlet, cup holders the USB type A ports at the same space here, the same armrest here and the same uh, glove box here. Same details here with LED, LED lights, right? And also here the mirrors with the halogen lights. And basically it's the same car like the other one but with the features that I mentioned to you. And also in this one, you have the front uh, trunk that is sealed like, like the other one, right? And as you know, as an electric car, the batteries, are in, the, the, uh, batteries are at the bottom and the engines are hidden. And you have basically the washer fluid the the windshield washer fluid sorry the coolants and the and the fuses and the parking and the brake uh, liquid and let's continue with this one that is the jewel of the lineup of the ionic 5 the jewel of the trims the Ionic 5 uh, long wheel ranch Ionic prefer long wheel ranch uh, all wheel drive with the ultimate package this combination is amazing specifically this color is a cyber gray but if you notice it here you have many uh, that uh, like a gray accent, chrome gray accent around the car. And also you have those nice uh, 20 inch rims that have an amazing design with Michelin tires 255, 45, 20 that sticks very hard to the ground. And also the Ionic 5 in the uh, in the uh, ultimate package, the preferred long wheel range, all wheel drive ultimate package. Instead of in, instead of only a portion of pixel design for the lights, you have in the whole rear trunk side that at night looks amazing. So let's continue. Let's take a look at the trunk because this is the highest stream instead of a manual uh, rear trunk, you have an electric one. So you just press the button here and automatically the trunk opens and you have also this uh, cover 
you have here the same space with the level one charger, the tire mobility kit, the locks and the net. But you have this uh, nice feature of the electric truck. Let's continue here. We have uh, leather seats. And as you know, you can move forward or forward or backward the seats and also recline the seats too. And other difference here compared to the other ones. Heated seats, rear seats in two levels. Also, you have rear curtains for your rear passengers that protects you against the sun or privacy. We still have here the uh, the uh, rear pockets, USB Type A ports, but here the materials are more premium because it's the ultimate package. And also, I don't know if you notice it, but uh, you have like a blue color around the uh, around uh, uh, one of the speakers is because uh, this car has interior LED uh, light with color combinations. Also, you have those nice chrome steps that are only available in the Ultimate. Let's continue here. We have more premium materials here, but the driver and passenger uh, are electric boat but in case of this one the ultimate frame you have two memories for the uh, for the driver and also you have both stereo system and also uh, you have more buttons here for the electric for the driver seat you can control uh, the lumbar support and also you have this uh, like cushion that you can control and also you have the relaxation mode. In the relaxation mode uh, you can uh, you can recline all the seat. if someone is here you can recline all all the driver seat as a bed totally flat and this is available only for the ultimate trim. Let's continue here. Uh, I am going to start the car and show you some features that the that the ulti that the ultimate uh, trim have, but not the previous trim, the the normal or the preferred all-wheel drive. The preferred long-range all-wheel drive uh, ultimate, that is the car that I am here right now have the same buttons here same the buttons same buttons here but you have this button for the rear trunk uh, and let's start with the difference here right now uh, you have first as i mentioned to you uh, we have the memory seats the the Bose stereo system the electric rear trunk and also the interior uh, ambience light that you can change the colors but let me show you here you have blind spot cameras that is a very nice feature also uh, the steering wheel is almost the same but in case of the cruise control you have the uh, the uh, you have the uh, you have the HDA level two. What does it mean? When you are driving the car and using the cruise control, in this level two HDA, uh, when you turn to, when you are in in the cruise using the cruise control, right, straight, and you turn to the left, automatically the car will detect if there is. If there is no car at the left, automatically the car will turn to the left. 
and put in the in in the left uh, in the left way, and this is a very nice feature. Also, uh, I don't know if the if you see here in the camera, you have here the uh, head-up display. If you notice it here, all right, yes, you have a head-up display that have show you principal uh, features about the car. We have here the same multimedia system with the same features, but now we have uh, many cameras around the car, not also at the back. We have in all the corners of, about the car, left and right, and also front. And for example, we have this aerial view that co combine all the cameras. We have this other view. These side views. And also we have a 360 camera. That is a very a nice feature. The materials here for the console are more premium. Here too. And also uh, one feature that uh, uh, this one half is the front seats are ventilated too. If we continue here, we have the same USB Type A port, 12 volt outlet, the cup holders, the same USB Type A ports, but here we have a wireless charger. So when you put your phone here, automatically will charge. The same armrest. But let me show you this feature that the other ones not have. You can move forward or backward the armrest. So you have more space here. Or in case suppose that uh, you have blocked the left side of the car, you can go out from this side, moving the armrest like this, and you can exit. Also, you have here the glove box. And as you know, the LED lights. And here are the mirrors and the lights. But the part of the roof is more premium. And finally, one of the things that I love is the big sunroof. It's a very huge sunroof. And take I don't know if you notice it, when you open or close, everything is from the middle. That is very nice. And uh, totally covers the the sunroof. Also, uh, other thing that the uh, that the twenty four Ionic five prefer long range all wheel drive in Ultimate package have a parking assist. So, for example, if you press this and and hold it. You have the features to with the car when you drive slow and you find a empty slot the car will detect the empty slot and the car will park by itself following the instructions so once you follow once the car will detect a empty slot and you follow the instructions automatically the car will turn on move forward or backward but also uh, other feature that this car half is that you can move forward or backward and let me show you how it works so I am going to lock the car right before continue uh, let me show you the key fobs so this is how the key fob looks in the uh, all wheel rear wheel drive or all wheel drive uh, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive uh, long range but in the case of the ultimate if you see here you have two additional buttons well three because this is for the uh, open the trunk 
close the trunk, but this is for move forward, backward or backward the car. Let me show you. So I am not now in the car. I am going to unlock the car, then uh, hold to turn on the car. So right now the car is on and I am going to move forward or backward the car. And as you notice it, the car is moving forward or backward. That is a very cool feature in case you are in a uh, very narrow uh, parking or if you want to impress your friends. And also suppose that the tires are in the le uh, turning uh, uh, in the left or right position. Automatically, the tires will 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 uh, put a straight and move, and you will move for forward, forward or backward. Let me turn off the car. All right, uh, a couple of things that I need to mention about this extraordinary 2024 Ionic Five. When you charge your car, you just go to the left side of the car, press this button. Sorry, you need to be with the car unlocked. Press this button. In case of the Ultimate, you have that feature that you can hold this button and automatically opens the electricity connection in the other ones uh, is the same feature but let me show you here you have here the connections if you are going to use level one level two or level three chargers and if you notice it here this car have is uh, with low uh, low have low charge it is low charge it so that's why, if you notice it here, you have a, 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 a white light. If you have a quarter or half or more, you will notice it that this is more, uh, have more lights. But once you are charging, you plug in the car, you, you will see how this will be increased and show you at what level is charging. To close to like this. And the second thing to finalize this review is that uh, the Ionic 5 is one of the few uh, electric cars that have the 800 volt architecture. What does it mean? First of all, uh, if you use the level 1 charger, you will charge this car very slow because the level one charger is only for emergency. You will charge this car in around uh, uh, 24 hours, but it's not recommended to use it because it's too long. In the level two chargers, in the one that you can buy and install in your home, you can install in seven hours. You can charge in seven hours. So at night you can plug in in your home in your uh, level two connection that you can install in your home, and the next day is ready. But here is the difference in the level three. If you find a normal level three charger, you will charge this car in around at around eighty percent in forty minutes. But if you find a level three charger that support the eight hundred volt architecture that this car is only the few in the markets that did, that have this 800 volt architecture, you can charge the car in 15 minutes. So this is super fast. This 800 volt architecture that have this car are only a few cars that are in the market. For example, the uh, Tesla Cybertruck, only the Tesla Cybertruck have that 800 volt architecture. The Hammer EV, Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron, and one of the Volvo Polestar's highest high three models, 
And those cars that I mentioned to you have only that 800 ball architecture, but you have in this very nice Ionic 5, but in an affordable price. All right, that's it. I hope uh, this video helped you in clarify the differences between the trims of the Ionic 5 lineup of the 2024 Ionic 5. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. And have a great day.